The student has seen traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. They and their mentor, Professor Fig, not only encountered goblins lurking outside of San Bacar's tower, they also encountered a powerful goblin in my vault at Gringotts. Hmm. I'm afraid it would be wise to halt the trials until we know more. We shall defer to you in this matter, of course. Now then... Wait, Professor. The name Rookwood. Do you think... That there's a connection to Victor? Perhaps, but we can't be sure of its significance, if any. For now, tell me what you saw in the pensive. Before the witch from the last pensive, Isadora, became a Hogwarts professor, she argued with Professor Rackham about using magic to... Hmm. Hopefully the next... I will be honest. I've no idea where to start. Actually, I might know of someone. I saw Serona at the Three Broomsticks speaking to a goblin once. They seemed friendly. Well, it's worth a try. See what you can find out. Of course, don't forget... My studies. Yes, sir. Uh, before you go... Professor? Have you encountered swirling traces of magic in the world? Uh, aside from those along our path. Not that I recall. What are they? Evidence of the Keeper's efforts to manipulate the power of ancient magic during our time. If I am correct, and I usually am, you should be able to use them to inform and enhance your own magic. Thank you, sir. I will look out for them. Rebellion. I would like to teach you Wingardium Leviosa. It can be used to levitate objects for a short time. Once Leviosa. you have the prerequisite tasks, do see me after class. I should ask Serona at the Three Broomsticks about this is the freezing spell. It is an efficient way to cool down a heated situation. But first, I will need you to complete a few tasks. Once you've done that, come and see me. I hope you will come and see me about a pressing and highly confidential matter at your earliest convenience. I believe that we may be able to help each other. Please see me after class once you have completed the tasks I've set for you. I would like to teach you Descendo, useful for pulling objects to the ground. Rebellio.
How are your assignments coming along? Revelio. I completed your assignments, Professor. Good. You should be ready to learn to pulso. Let's see what you can do. Concentrate. Do not let your mind wander. You've got it the now. Pulsar. If you'd like to practice, and I think you should, well done. I'm glad to see that you seem staunchly to master your spell casting. The Pulsar! Akio! The Pulsar! Akio! Well, Incendio. repetition can be an extra... Akio! The Pulsar! Incendio! Gobstones back. The pulsar on all challenges. Akio. I 
Shakir. La vie en scène. Incendio. Complete the tasks I've given you and then meet me in my classroom to learn Defindo, the severing charm. It's typically used to cut an object, but can be a powerful weapon when needed. Hello again, Mr. Moon. Oh, I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. Uh, Gladwin Moon, a Hogwarts caretaker, at your service. First, uh, please allow me to apologize if I seemed a bit uh, unsteady when we last met. I'm afraid I had a rather disconcerting encounter. Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. I suppose you could call it eventful. I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. Oh, of course not! Uh, and from what I understand, the village was lucky you were there. In fact, my recent visit to Hogsmeade is the reason I was hoping to bump into you. I could use your help with something. Do you see that curious statue over there? Watch what happens when that light changes from day to night. Now, if you wouldn't mind humouring me for a moment, see if you can remove the moon from the statue. Akio. Oh, odd little contraptions, aren't they? It seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed. Which, incidentally, can only be done at night. Uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now? And I'll explain more as we walk. Uh, ever since that fateful day in the village, those curious statues have begun appearing about the castle. A fair number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. Someone, it seems, is trying to torment me. You see, that day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face with a boggart, or, or shapeshifter, if you will, uh, which takes the form of whatever scares you most. And this one took the form of a demiguise. A demiguise? <gasps> yes! Terrifying creature that can see the future. Revelio nerving. I encountered one when I was a lad in Korea. Terrible experience. Uh, those statues are demigodesses. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired game. Some jackanapes used the boggart to learn my greatest fear and use it against me. I have my suspicion as to the scoundrel or scoundrels responsible. It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. That is why I need your help in removing the statues. Why me? A couple of reasons, frankly. Uh, first, second, as macabre and idiot as a demiguise is, you, however, I'm at my wit's end, young... Th In fact, perhaps you could start simply by removing... Why would I do this? Seems all risk and no reward. Oh, rest assured, there's very little risk and there is, in fact, a reward. I will teach you a particularly useful spell. Uh, first, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Hmm. You'll want to do that before wandering the tower at night. Uh, next, you'll notice that the door is locked. However will you get in? Hmm. Alahamora, that's how. But what about curfew? Curfew? Ah, oh, tosh! I sense you're a bit like me when I was your age. Oh, the school was my oyster. And I took advantage of it. Uh, now...
Alohomora. Remember, use a disillusionment charm so no one claps. This is a restricted area of the castle, after all. Revelio. Hello, Hamora. Revelio. Alohomora. Revelio. Compulsor.
Revelio. Rather poorly, I'd say. Is that so? We're raising a generation of coddled pig planters who scarcely know the difference between Arcanite and Asphodel. Yes, well, it's still early. Perhaps they'll improve. <laughs> if you are insistent on breaking them. up to. Revelio. Is 
This must be the prefect's bathroom. Revelio. Revelio. Aloha Mora. Levioso, Depulso. Confringo. Revelio
Revelio. Plenty of other perils and pitfalls to send them my way, though. Revelio! Well, I suppose I should begin my rounds now. I suppose Professor Black knows the best. It's a terribly disappointed about Quidditch being cancelled. I had planned to bet a few galleons on Hufflepuff. Revelio. Revelio. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented. Thank you. Revenue. about and the golden snitch rather a lot like life isn't it oh i suppose i Revelio. 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 
Hello, Mr. Moon. I have the moons you asked me to collect. Oh, goodness! You're as fearless as I'd hoped. An excellent start. If we can collect more, it may shed some light on who's behind all this. Of course, I first suspected Peeves. He drove the previous caretaker, rancorous carp, to an early retirement with his intolerable buffoonery. But that does not explain the bogger in Oxmead, does it? No. I am determined, with your help, to discover the identity of my tormentor. It's definitely intriguing. I'd like to help. Uh, you! Now, remember, the moons are only retrieval. How many statues are there to find? I don't know precisely. You have your work cut out for you. Understood. I appreciate that. Oh, and I knew you were the one to ask for help. Uh, keep at it so we can... Good bring them. Confringo! A moment of your silence and attention shall soon be rewarded.
take a moment to allow our music to soothe your heart. Rebellion. Rebellion. Here. Levioso. Akio. Confringo. Capulso. Levioso. Confringo. Capulso. Levioso. Capulso. Revelio Accio Levioso Capulso Confringo
castle. Must have been quite stately in its time. Revelio. 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 I wonder if I'm safe to explore in there. What are you up to now? Revelio. Depulso. Accio. Levioso. Confringo. Depulso. Confringo. Accio. Levioso. Revelio. Confringo! Nice to see you, my young friend. Confringo! Accio! Capulso! Levioso! Confringo! Levioso. Revelio.
Well, do let me know if I can be of any assistance at all. What can I do for you today? Very good. Never hurts to keep my stocks replenished. A wise decision. Thank you. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. What do we have here? A demigod. Revelio. She stands her ground, that woman. I'll give her that. Meet, here I come. Accio Revelio. I won't be wasting your time, and I'm grateful for the opportunity, ever so. Come on, then. What you got? It's Why a... is it moving? What? I bet... Your bag. It's wriggling. What you got in there? Not that. <laughs> Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. Revelio. Confringo.
Confringo! That's that. Settled. Confringo! Revelio! Levioso! Confringo! Revelio! Levioso! Accio! Revelio!
Yes. Let me also. Could also. Good friend. Levioso. Am I Akio. to be the Akio. Levioso. Confringo. Akio. Capulso. Confringo. Levioso. Confringo. I know what that means. Merlin trial. Revelio. Let me know, sir. Akio. Levioso. Capulso. Not so tricky after all, Merlin. Revelio.
Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Confringo! Alohomora. Rebellio. Have you finished your assignments? I finished the tasks, Professor. Well, well. I trust you are meticulous in your efforts. After all, shortcuts only ever lead to shortcomings. Yes, sir, of course. Good. Ordinarily, I'd say it's not my concern either way, but you... I want to make sure you're well prepared. Talent and resolve are a potent combination. It would be a shame to let that go to waste. Thank you, Professor. Don't let it go to your head. Now, let's see how you fare with Defindo. Wand at the ready. Focus. Defindo can be dangerous if you're not paying attention. Hmm. Very good. Defindo! You want to practice here in the classroom. For your sake, and that of everyone else. It's pleasure to have a student who... Accio! Let me answer Repulsor! Accio! Let me answer! Defindo! mentioned earlier, Defindo can be versatile but dangerous. Good to see you continuing to practice.
You can't imagine how inconvenient. It's a relief to finally have Professor Hackett. Revelio. Off on another adventure, are we? Welcome, everyone. Hmm. I see you've already met some of the many beasts we study in this class. Though be advised, none of these creatures should be taken lightly. They are all in their own way dangerous, especially if one does not know how to handle them properly. Now, it seems many of you are out of practice. Let's take some time to review the basics of how to care for a beast, shall we? Miss Sweeting, would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Yes, Professor Howen. Hello, I'm Poppy, Poppy Sweeting. Don't worry about Professor Howen's speech. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are perfectly safe. Oh! Miss Sweeting, pay attention, please. The tongue of a puffskin can be a slippery devil. Uh, yes, Professor. Here, you can practice on Gerald. Just keep an eye out for his tongue. <laughs> you can use my brush. Just be gentle. Oh, and think pleasant. I like to think it enriches his experience. That's lovely. I'm sure he feels much better. I think he might be hungry. Would you mind giving him some beast feed? What do you suppose the pellets taste like to Gerald? Pudding, I like to think. <laughs> I think we can safely say that Gerald likes you. That's good news. He seems very nice. He is. Kindness is one of his best qualities, right after ambition and cleanliness. Good work, everyone. Now, let's make our way to the pens and select another beast. And please, do be careful as you feed and groom them. Miss Sweeting, why don't you show our new student to the Neasles in the farthest pen? This way. The Neasles are over here. Oh, couple in the easel whiskers ought to get me a few canuts at least. Enough to buy something from Honey Jukes. <laughs> uh, stupid thing. Oh. Uh. What in Merlin's uh. name are you doing? Uh, tuss, tuss, peculiar poppy. Worried about a worthless little rodent? Her name is Persephone! <laughs> Her name is Persephone! <laughs> That's really not funny. <sighs> Let's go. The 
Those two don't belong anywhere near this class. Poachers in training. Persephone was on to them instantly. Thank you for your help. Let's carry on. Feed and brush the measles just as you did with Gerald. <laughs> the measles really took to you. They know a good egg when they see one. As do I. It appears our time has come to an end. Please close the pens and see yourselves out. Now, where is our new student? Ah, there you are. I would like a moment, please. Hello, Professor. You wanted to speak with me? I did. How did you find your first beast's lesson? It was wonderful. I believe... Good. You seem to understand. Some provide us with magically imbued mat which does not include torturing them for whiskers. Well done, by the way. Yes, Professor. Stumbling over dead beasts? Surely the poachers can be brought to... Hmm. And Professor... Be on the lookout. Meanwhile... Hey, over here. Come on. Do you need something, Poppy? Thank you again for saying something to those brutes so that I didn't have to. You were an augury at noon in the desert. I certainly hope that's a good thing. It's something my gran and I say. It means that something or someone is a welcome surprise. At least, that's what we decided it meant. I couldn't stand there and watch them harm the poor thing. We're of a similar mind. Actually, in light of that, there's someone I'd like you to meet in the forest. You've intrigued me. Very well. Lead the way. I'd hoped I would. I wouldn't take just anyone there. In fact, you're the first. Really? Well, thank you, I think. As I said, we think alike. Pleasant surprise. <sighs> Quite the weather we're having, don't you think? Poppy, where are you taking me? It really is much better if I just show you. Don't worry, we're nearly there. It's just ahead. Stand back. Magnificent. Go on, introduce yourself to her, but be careful. You must always show hippogriffs the proper courtesy before you approach them. this quickly. You can feed and brush her if you'd like. I come and check on her every once in a while. Bring her pasties, tell her what's going on in the castle. You wouldn't know from looking at her, but she's a dreadful busybody.
So, what did you think of High Wing? I thought she was brilliant. Can't believe you introduced me to her. I suspected you two might get along. Are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the Forbidden Forest? Hmm, perhaps. Did you know that once you earn a hippogriff's trust, they'll always be there for you? I've seen it firsthand with her. How exactly did you and High Wing cross paths? It's a longer story, but I rescued her from poachers a few years back, got her to safety, and well, she was fine until recently. You may have noticed that poachers are something of a problem in the area, so I worry they could get her again, and that I might not be there next time. Professor Howen mentioned the poachers as well. She seems to imply that we couldn't rely on the Ministry to help. I don't often agree with Professor Howen, but on that, I fear she's right. The poachers' influence is growing. I see them every day in the village, lingering, talking to people. They're up to something. I'm just not sure what. That does seem strange. Sounds as if they're planning something. Exactly. I think I'm going to look into it. Find out what's going on. What they're doing. I think that's a fine idea. Information is power. And the more I know, the better I can keep High Wing safe. You seem undeterred. Will you let me know what you find out? Oh, very well. I will. I should be going, but we'll speak again soon, I hope. Revelio. Revelio. Revelio.
Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Accio! Hello there. Nice to see you. Hello, Miss Ryan. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Rookwood and Harlow the day of the troll attack. Serona, please. And I was happy to help. Oh, those two are nothing but trouble. Glad you and your friend were here when they found you. I am too. You were speaking to a goblin here that day. Yes, Lodgog. <sighs> He's a friend. I was surprised that you seemed friendly with a goblin. I've known him for years. We met when I was waiting tables here as a student, well before I bought the place. He was cordial enough, but we weren't friends then. His mistrust of wizard kind ran deep. But you're friends now. We are. I hadn't seen him in years when he came in a few months ago. But he recognized me instantly, which is more than I can say for some of my own classmates. Took them a second to realize I was actually a witch, not a wizard. Not all goblins are like Ranrock and his loyalists. Lodgok is as worried as the rest of us about what's been going on. In that case, I'd like to talk with him, about Ranrock in particular. Where might I find him? I assume your interest is to do with the rumors I've heard about Ranrock working with our friend Rookwood. It is. If he's not here, you might find him doing business at the Hog's Head. He's a trusted metal trader. You should mention that we spoke. He can, understandably, be wary of witches and wizards, even ones as young as you. That said, if you're looking for information on Ranrock... Thank you, Serona. If you find Lord Gok. I don't know what you've done to Rebellion. make such powerful enemies, but please, watch your back. when dealing with us. Hello. Good to see you outside the castle. You too, Amit. Hengist of Woodcroft certainly Welcome to the Ogg's Head. Any empty seat is yours. Hello, Lord Gok. Sorona said I might find you here. She did, did she? Did she send you with news? No. Actually, I wanted to speak with you. It's about Ranrock. Now I remember. The three broomsticks. Day of the troll attack. You're the student he's after. I am. And I need to know what he and his loyalists are up to, so I can stay a step ahead. Let's say I did know. Why should I trust you? Serona trusts me, and she thought our interests may be aligned. Hmm. Well, if Serona trusts you, very well. I may know of something that could help us both. A way to get Ranrock to confide his plans to me. I'm listening. Years ago, a heinous witch stole a sacred goblin relic. Rumor has it that it now rests in her sarcophagus, in a tomb accessible only by wizard kind. Ranrock and I had a, a falling out a while back. The relic could well repair the chasm between us. Very well. I'll retrieve the relic if you promise to share Ranrock's plans with me. We will have to trust each other. I, that you will not abscond with the relic, and you, 
that I'll share what I learn. Gather whatever supplies you may need and meet me near the witch's tomb. Revelio. What do we have here? A demigod. Mine now, Demi guys. Revelio. Imagine the last thing you see being the mouth of a dementor. If it thinks it's got half of it, it's made life hard for itself. I'm ready. Good. There's no time to lose. What precisely is the relic I'm to retrieve? A valuable heirloom known as the Hell's Bird God. The witch considered herself a collector and purchased the helmet as a trinket. She cared not what pain she caused the goblins. Goblins believe that the rightful owner of any object is its maker, not its purchaser. Wizard kind see things differently. So wonder goblins and wizards have ever been able to work together. The differences between our kinds are myriad. They seem to be. It may surprise you to know that I do not believe those differences always to be insurmountable. It is the reason I find myself traveling this too. Much. Travel broadens the map. Ah, and there it is. The witch is yeah. Dreadful looking place, isn't it? I wish you luck retrieving the helmet. As a wand carrier, you should have an advantage. Now, before you set off, do you have any questions? Don't suppose you have any idea what could be waiting for me inside the tomb? Considering a dark witch was involved, I suppose there's a chance you may encounter the Dark Protectors, known as Inferi. The foul creatures thrive on darkness and the cold. Vanquish them with light, force, and most effectively, fire. It all seems clear to me now that we're here. I do hope our alliance prove... I will remain here, eagerly awaiting your return. Revelio. It's sealed. Moths. Curious. Lumos. Revelio. Merlin's beard. This can't be the witch's tomb. Likely I need to go further. Revelio. Lumos. Defender. 
Nokia. Levioso. Lumos. Akio. Revelio. Lumos. I have a feeling I'm not alone here. Revelio. Defender. Akio. Confringo. Incendio. Incendio. Ringo. Incendio. Ringo. Akio. Potato. Revelio. Confringo. <laughs> Revelio. Lumos. Levioso. Accio. Lumos. If I could power it somehow, it looks like it could be rotated. Accio! Levioso! Lumos! Lumos. Revelio. Revelio. Akio.
Revelio. Incendio. Accio. Lumos. Levioso. Accio. Revelio. Accio. Levioso. Incendio. Lumos. Defendo. Down I go. No other way. Defendo. Accio. Revelio. Incendio. Lumos. Lumos.
Lumos. Lumos. Lumos. Incendio. Depulsor. Lumos. His final resting place. Lord Gok said the helmet was in her sarcophagus. Dead Ashwinder. Compatriots must have made off with the helmet. Better show this to Lord Gok. I know there's a mechanism to open this door. Lord Gok, the sarcophagus had been raided. I found no helmet, only a dead Ashwinder. Damn! They got here first! We need to get it before Rookwood uses it to further ingratiate himself to Ranrock. I saw one of their campsites not far from here, but I fear you must go in alone. My fighting days are behind me. I'll head there now. Good. There's no time to lose. Get to that helmet before Rookwood does, or we will lose our chance at any leverage, no matter how small, with Ranrock. To think those wretched thieves have their hands on such a relic. Treadwell, aren't you? That was a mistake, my friend. Levioso! Oh, you've made a mistake. Protego! Capulso! Defender! Stupid one! Incendio! Expulsion! 
the pulsar. Incendio. Levioso. Revelio. 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 That's it. This is for Rookwood. Oh, what's the light go out of your eye? Tango, I think that one hurt. Oh. Akio, defender, incendio. That's the best you can do. Levioso. Akio. You've made a great mistake. Akio. Incendio. You won't the window. Wait till Sebastian hears about this. An ash winder. Telling what lies in wait for me in there. I retrieved the helmet from the Ashwinders. Well done! This is sure to impress Ranrock. The helmet shines even more brightly than I imagined. The etchings, the contour of the profile, remarkable. It looks stunning, Lord Gok. I see why you wanted it back. You did the thieves a service by recovering it. I know many a goblin who would have killed for it. Ah, then I am glad to be rid of it myself. Thank you. This should earn Ranrock's trust. I will take it to him immediately. It may distract him from his search. His search? It, uh, it is merely an inkling. You have impressed me greatly, friend. I am glad that I trusted you. We shall speak soon. Best to keep our arrangement quiet for now. Many will not believe that our aims might possibly be aligned. Revelio! Hello, friend. I wonder if you might stop by the three broomsticks when you can. I would like your help with something. As I mentioned, my sister Anne misses Hogwarts, and she hasn't been herself lately. 
I'd like to take you up on your promise to visit her with me. I'm heading to Feldcroft soon, so I'll look forward to seeing you there. It's just south of Hogwarts. By the way, hope you're faring well with the blasting curse. It's still one of my favorites. Now that you've attended Beast's class, I've asked Deke to assist you in using the room to further your studies in that regard. Please meet him there when you can. I've not heard from my Uncle Roland in quite some time. I've been beside myself with worry. Did you meet me in the courtyard? Revelio. Send it. Abandoned long ago, no doubt. Nothing over here either. They don't seem to care for me, the Hogwarts. Revelio! Incendio. Revelio.
Confirm them. Incendium. Confirming up. I'll make you wish you were back at school. Huh? Is that enough? Confirming up. Akio. Incendium. Nobody will believe I defeated a Nashwinder by myself. <laughs> Rebellion. Solves that. Revelio. How nice to see you, my young. Rather unwise coming back this way. Ah, yeah. Expelliarmus. <laughs> you Revelio. Ugh. <sighs> 
Revelio. Expelliarmus. Accio. Levioso. Incendio. Revelio. Accio. These rocks have seen better days. One less follower, Ranrock.
Hello. Do you have anything for sale? Hello. It's not often I see Hogwarts students here during the school year. I'm Priya Treadwell at your service, and I sell a variety of travelling necessities. What do you have for sale? Let's have a look, shall we? You won't be disappointed, I can promise you that. You won't be disappointed, I can promise you that. Revelio. A castle must have been quite stately in its time. That wasn't so difficult. of you to stop by. Banrock has fooled you all to your demise. Seems a pleasant enough little place. You made it. 
enjoying the view. Keeping an eye on things. Feldcroft isn't what it used to be. No one has felt safe here since Ranrock's loyalists took a peculiar interest in that castle over there. Rookwood Castle. My uncle Solomon is a former Aura and refuses to look into it. Even after Anne was cursed by one. Possibly with a wand. I heard a goblin refer to wizard kind as wand carriers. A goblin's... Precisely. That's why I'm... Anne was always the most... I'm hoping a... Come on. This way. <laughs> Feldcroft used to be a lot livelier. With Ranrock's lot wandering about all the time, everyone stays out of sight. Here we are. My sister should be just inside. <laughs> We've been over this, boy. Hey. Shrivel figs cannot reverse a curse. Nothing can. The sooner you accept that reality, the better. But we haven't tried everything. There is no cure! When will you accept that? Never. I can never accept it. <laughs> now look what you've done. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that. If you don't mind, I just need a moment alone. Poor Sebastian. Not the visit he'd hoped for. Rebellio! Boy will fray my last nerve. Excuse me, Mr. Sallow. Oh, yes, Sebastian's friend. I apologize on behalf of my nephew. He thinks he can help. Nothing can be done. It could be that you've not yet discovered the cure. Ugh, you sound like Sebastian. Perhaps the healers don't know everything. Sebastian is single mindedly focused on finding a way. Your faith in Sebastian is misplaced. Some sort of dark magic curse. Giving her hope is cruel. With all due respect, sir. You may mean well, if you really want... He's no I... I hope you'll remember what I've said. Good day. I'm sorry about earlier. Revelio. Bouts of pain are difficult to bear. Are you all right, Anne? I, I didn't mean to intrude. You didn't, truly. <laughs> and I'm all right. It's nice to meet you. I am. Seba oh, the common room. <sighs> Uncle. I'll do my best. Thank you. I'm getting tired. I should probably... I wish you well. I ought to see how Sebastian's faring. Why will he not listen to me? She's my sister. How are you doing, Sebastian? I'll admit, I wasn't expecting... He's always angry. After Anne was hurt, I'm the one trying... Both Anne and... I refuse... I miss my... Come with me. Ranrock's loyalists are capable of so much more than people realize. They should not be underestimated. <laughs> All the debris you'll see is from whatever's going on at that abandoned estate. They've been digging for something. Ah. 
Up there, on that plateau, is where they cursed Anne. This way. Revelio. How much longer are we expected to dig through this rubble? Ramrock knows what he's doing. It's an honor to be a part of it. Only good wizard is a dead wizard. Accio! <laughs> 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 I won't rest. The Pindle. your last mistake. I was right not to be worried about you. It's more than I bargained for. I try. Revelio. To... Those loyalists deserved what they got. Couldn't agree more. This is where it happened. We smelled smoke in the middle of the night. When we looked outside, flames were shooting from the estate. She came face to face with a horde of goblins, frantically trying to stamp out the. Suddenly, an icy voice drifted out from somewhere in the smoke. Children should be seen and not heard. A blinding blast followed. They didn't even give her a chance to run. It sounds as if the Loyalists attacked Anne without cause. I wouldn't put it past them. But I'm convinced that they were trying to hide something. It may be grasping at billywigs, but I keep thinking... Might be the um. Perhaps you're right. And at. Shall we have a look around? 
Revelia. They seem to have set up camp here for a specific reason. They have for everything. Whose home was this? It's been abandoned long since I've lived here. Rumor was a Hogwarts professor lived here once, centuries ago. But that's all I ever heard. Revelio. Always armed and ready for a fight, Ranrock's loyalists. I've heard that goblin dig sites like these are popping up everywhere. Hmm. It's a wonder the Ministry isn't doing more. It might be worth taking a closer look at the house itself. Revelio. Sebastian. Over here. Do you think that this was damaged by the fire that made the Anne's curse? Could be. But it looks to me as though this was intentional. Incendio. Confringo. This well looks familiar. Sebastian. I've seen this before. This house, the well, the view. What do you mean? When? Give me a moment. I'll explain in a second. <laughs> Sebastian, this house did belong to a Hogwarts professor hundreds of years ago. Who? What do you- I found a pensive that day in the restricted section with a memory that showed this house. There was a little girl and a drought the Keepers have shown me other memories as well. The girl became a Hogwarts professor. Her name was Isadora Morganark. She was one of the Keepers. The Keepers? Like in Quidditch? And you found a pensive in the library? I'm not following you. I realize it's a lot to take in. I'm not even sure I understand it all yet. And no, not like Quidditch. They call themselves Keepers because they're protecting some type of knowledge. It has to do with the vault at Gringotts. Let me see if I've got this straight. You have Ranrock and Rookwood after you because of something you found at Gringotts where you ended up via a port key. You can see traces of an ancient magic that you think Ranrock is trying to harness. And now you've been witnessing memories left by keepers. Oh, and this house belonged to a Hogwarts professor who was one of these non-Quidditch keepers hundreds of years ago. If I didn't know you, I think you were pulling my leg. It is all a bit much, isn't it, when you put it like that? The point is, we both have good reason to search this house. You for answers about what happened to Anne, and me for answers about the Keepers. Look at this. Conf Someone piled this here for a reason. Is it blocking something? Why bother? Only one way to find out. There might be something here worth a closer look. They've left all of this simply strewn about. Tells me they're after something bigger. Revelio. Seems these journal entries are from Isadora's travels. Confringo! A journal entry of Isadora's. You're not going to believe this. I can see the Undercroft. What? A daydream? Because that happens to me too. Lumos. Protego. 
I know it sounds strange, but honestly, I... nothing you say sounds strange to me anymore. Fair enough. I can see the undercroft through this stone wall as though it's a window. This has happened before. I think it's to do with my... But... That's true. What I do... Wait. We can. Understood. I'm tempted to hold my breath. Why would the door lead us here? Sebastian, look. Why hide a triptych here? Seems as if something's missing. A note? Let's have a look. Anything helpful in the note? A rune symbol. I've seen similar symbols used by the keepers. I've been thinking. A keeper lived in that house. You said that... I can't... Hmm. True. Then we'll have to... Did I mention... You did not. No idea. Ominous just learned of it. I had no idea our visit to Sian would unfold into all of this. My head's an utter mess. I'll be in touch. Till then. Revelio.